In the last edition of The Economist, there was an article lamenting the lack of wage growth in the United States over the last 30 years or so. And this is apparently a big topic in the 2016 election. And so you have various candidates who are coming out and talking about respective solutions. And I thought there was one that was quite interesting coming from Marco Rubio, who's a Republican candidate basically stating that the problem is based upon training or lack of uh, technical uh, wherewithal tied to technology. And so I started thinking about this one a little bit and thinking about over my entire career path, what were actually the problems with regards to training? And it was quite clear if I, if I go back to those various instances that the construction is wrong. It's not just the ability of training. Even if you have the interest in training, the system does not allow you to actually go ahead and deploy what you need to move forward in your career. Let me give you an example. This goes back to the 80s. I was working for a global organization and there was one course that I wanted to take that I thought would be quite interesting and it would be bettering me as a person moving forward in the career all the way around. Well, in any case, it was refused. And the reason why it was refused was because it had no direct relevance to my current job. And so I posed the question, okay, so if my job changed and this content was valid, then they, the, the, the response was, well, if your, if your situation changes and you need the skill, then, then you, that will be paid for. At the same token, that same organization was willing to pay for an NBA, which was far more expensive than that of what I was asking for. And let's go through that scenario. So I go ahead and complete the MBA, two, four years, and that means that I'm grossly overqualified for the position that I had at that time. In addition, there was no career path, so there was no clear linkage between what I was learning and what I can do later on, which meant that I would have had to leave that organization. So the, that organization would have paid for my, work, for my education and I would have been forced to leave, which would have been throwing money away. And I ask you, is that the best solution? Uh, I tend to think the, the, the way forward is for each individual to go ahead and take responsibility for their own training needs because otherwise you're going to be caught in that situation.